Hello everyone, my name is Clax and welcome to a Minimator tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make cell shaded rigs in Minimator. So let's get straight into it. So you're going to want to import your character and put whatever skin you want to use on it. I'm going to be using Sunny for this tutorial. It looks better if you use it on a skin that only has one layer, but you know, you can do whatever you want with it. So basically, once you got your skin, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on it. And you're gonna wanna put all, all this stuff down, expand it, look so you can see everything. From there, you're gonna want to import a cube. So you wanna go to shape, and you're gonna wanna put cube, and put no texture, click create. And from there, you're going to want to material, and go to color properties, change it to black. From here, you're gonna wanna go to your library, and click invert. So an inverted cube let me show you this if you move it inside of see sunny here you can still see sunny inside the cube but you can also see the outline of the cube it's kind of trippy i know but that's how you make the cell shade rig let me show you how to map it to the parts all right so once you got your cube you're going to want to change all these patches but let's just have that for an example all right so once you got the cube right here you're going on to click on it go to properties and click parent parent it to the head. Once you have it parented to the head, you're going to want to go to scale and you're going to put this link icon and you're going to do 4.5 and there you have it. You have an outline. You can actually change the scale of it depending on what you want. Scale, if you want it bigger, you can make this bigger. You'll have to mess around with the custom rotation point though. 0.525 is pretty good if you want like more of a slim outline. But you know, I actually think that's what I'm going to do for you. Gonna have a slim outline. Let me fix the custom rotation. So basically, the custom rotation point is gonna depend on it. But this, I'd say, I'd have to make it 5.525. There it is. 7.525 is perfect, and you got that perfect outline. Next is the hard part. You want to put it around the whole body. That is where it gets difficult. The cube. You're gonna want to just duplicate it, and then go to the parent. Parent it, let's do the right arm. So for that, you're gonna wanna actually change the custom rotation point to zero. All right, so once you parent it to the arm, you're going to want to change the dimensions. Obviously, once again, it's personal preference, but the one I would like to use is the X scale, 2.75, the Z scale, 0 0.275, and the Y scale, 0 0.775. So for this one, you're gonna select that again, you're just going to want to get the cube, and you're going to want to duplicate it and from there, and actually just change that straight to the left arm. But actually, you can actually use this same one for the feet. Just duplicate it twice, change this one to the right leg, change this one to the left leg, and with that, we're almost done. Now we have one more to go. That's the torso. We're going to duplicate it again. Just parent this one to the body. For the scales on this one, you're going to want to change it to 0 0.525. And with that, you're pretty much done. Now, when you're posing your cell shaded rig, you're going to want to have a little bit of... You have to pose it in a very specific way or it's going to look a bit buggy. Like, you see that like edge right there? It doesn't look too good. You can't really have a basic pose. You have to really move it around. Or else it won't look too good. So make sure you keep that in mind when you're using your cell shaded rig. Just a quick tip while the members scroll down here. You can lock each cube inside each body part to make it fluent and more easy to animate. So yeah, um, thanks to all the members. Thanks for the likes and subscribes and I'll see you in the next one.